It was gangster, gangster at the top of the list. Then I played my old shit. It went something like this: cruising down the street in my six four, jocking the bitches, slapping the hoes. Went to the park to get the scoop. Knuckleheads out there, cold shooting some hoops. Now I spend uh, a lot of time cruising the XDA forums. I don't really do it in my six four, but uh, I do a. Uh, Cruise, cruise by there from time to time. Uh, just basically trying to check out the latest and coolest stuff or whatever hacks or mods people are doing to their, uh, their G1s. While riding low, <laughs> I ran across a cool little uh, hack slash mod for the G1. Uh, technically, it's actually for any 1.6 uh, donut ROM. Now, it's brought to you by a guy named Anderwebs, and he's a really cool developer. He's kind of new to the Android community, so let's all Welcome him with open arm. Get over here, Andrew. You know, you know, you know. He made uh, this really cool. I guess it's a new type of launcher for uh, all the 1.6 donut ROMs. Now, if you don't know what a launcher is, it's basically just the the home screen or the little tab guy at the bottom. And yeah, normally you just see the little tab, and then you drag it, and then you pull it up, and then it shows all your apps and everything, and you scroll through them. Well, if you've ever seen the Nexus. Uh, the Nexus launcher is a little bit different. It's got the uh, little squares at the bottom, and instead of dragging it up and stuff, you just um, tap it, and then all the little icons just walk, walk, just zoom in and out. And it's a really cool effect. It looks really awesome. People have tried to backport it, I guess, from like the next the 2.1 ROMs and all that stuff, but uh, it was damn near impossible to to backport it onto a donut ROM or anything like that. So. Um, Things weren't looking so good until Andrewebs came along and he just basically made up his own launcher from scratch and it's really cool. It's it's a Nexus type launcher. I call it a sexy Nexi launcher. It does everything that the Nexus one does and a little then some. So let's just get to it. I want to show you guys exactly what it looks like and what it does and all the functions and features it has. Alright, so here is Andrewebs beautiful um, sexy Nexi Nexus type launcher. It's basically got the same functions as you would see on, I guess, the Nexus One or um, phones that have a 2.1, I guess, which would only be the Nexus One. Now, if you click the button here, it's going to just open up your app tray. You can just scroll through them like normal. Click the back button or click it again to exit out of it. And uh, right now I have it set for five screens. You could actually customize it and set it to a whole lot more than that. I'm just going to show you guys some of the features like the cards. This is pretty cool. If you hold down any one of these little tabs at the side, it'll pull up your cards. And it actually has the icons and everything. I think that's so, looks so cute. I don't know. Uh, I'm going to go all the way to the side here. We're going to hold it down. And we're going to jump all the way to the opposite side. And if you can just see the smoothness, um, I'm not sure if that's a testament to the launcher or has something to do with the ROM that I'm using. <clears throat> Super CFDI. <clears throat> What's the drama in the world? <coughs> All right, another cool feature is the ability to grab an icon, drag it down into the trash can here, and if you hold it long enough, it will say "Drop to uninstall." Now, normally, if I just grab it and drop it in there, it'll just get rid of the icon. If I wanted to do a quick uninstall, I think this is super handy. It's probably one of my favorite features. I don't even know how we came up with it, but hold it down, drop to uninstall. Do you want to uninstall this application? Uh, I don't really want to do that, but um, yeah, you can see how handy that would come, especially if you just downloaded and installed like a really silly app and you uh, decided you didn't want it and you don't have to go through like a app manager or go into your settings and have to uninstall. I think this is really cool, really functional. Um, great job, great work, great idea. Okay, so. To change some of the options on it, you just press the menu button and here it is, ADW settings. We're going to click on that here. Uh, the current version I'm using right now is uh, 0.6.2. I think technically speaking it's still in beta. But if you go on top you can change the number of desktop screens. Like I said before, you can go up to 7. Uh, default screen will just be the default screen when you hit the home button. Animated drawer, if I click animated drawer and then click off fast drawer. That'll just show you what I have going on. 
Okay, so now that's all loaded up. If I click the tab button now, it's gonna do that crazy fade effect like on the Nexus One, and just in case you guys didn't catch that. Wah, wah. Uh, that's pretty rad, right? C Quiet! No! Stupid. Gosh. I'm Uh, and I also took off fast drawer and now as you can kind of see you can see my background a little bit It's kind of transparent the background here But um, what that does is it kind of doesn't scroll as smoothly as you can see it's a little more choppy um, I don't know if I'd call that choppy. I would just call that Android But yeah, it's just uh, not not really running so well. I'd rather have speed than um, Cool special effects, I guess Especially on my G1. So we're just gonna go ahead and change those back because I don't want that um, so non-animated drawer and fast drawer. Now, drawer columns, drawer columns portrait. What this will do is, it'll, it's just how many icons you want to display. Right now I have it on four, which is one, two, three, four. I can change that to five if I like. And, um, columns landscape, it's when it's in this mode, and you open up your app drawer. I'm going to put that to six, because it gives you a little more room. So now when I open up this sucker here, one, two, three, four, five. Uh, it scrolls pretty smooth. Again, not sure if that has something to do with uh, ADW Launcher or if it has something to do with my wonderful, um, my wonderful Super CSDI ROM. Come on, for the love of Pete. All right, so let's open it up in landscape mode, and then now I have six going across. So yeah, it's highly customizable. Androwebs is uh, a really nice guy. He answers all your questions on Twitter and stuff if you're having any issues with it, and he gets a lot of feedback from XDA. Um, he is uh, pretty open-minded about this, and he just wants to make it the best that it can be. Um, the only thing I would like to see, I guess, maybe would be pressing the home button would take you to home, the, your home, your default home screen, and then pressing it again would be cool to um, pull up the cards, and then if you press it again, it would be like a toggle switch, and then they would go away. I think that would be um, the only improvement I think I would like to see. But yeah, so that's pretty much it. AD, ADW Launcher. It's uh, pretty epic. It gives your phone that Nexus feel. Um, basically, you can further modify your ROM to your liking. The only problem I've really had with it is just trying to go back to the original launcher if for some reason you decide to do so. Uh, it's kind of difficult, I already mentioned it before, but you would have to push the original launcher.apac back into the ROM and uh, just uh, and just to restore it back to the original launcher. I'm not sure why you want to do it, but um, the when it comes out with updates for it, it's actually pretty simple to to get them. When he comes when he comes out with updates to the to his ADW launcher, it's actually pretty simple to apply. You just flash those again, just right on top of whatever you have, and it, it'll update it accordingly. All right, that's it. That's ADW launcher. I'll have Andrew Webbs' Twitter down at the bottom, and I'll provide a link for the XDA page if you guys want to hit up that as well. I hope this was informative to you. Thank you guys for watching, and I will see y'all soon. Cristo, do you love me now? I got those implants you suggested. Well, uh, what implants? What are you? I don't. What are you talking about? The sexy Nexi implants. I just thought your launcher could be a little more perky. That's all. You want to look good for for Poppy, right? See, si, see. Si. Am I spicy now? Uh, yeah. I mean, you look great. You look. You look awesome. I think you're. I feel like, I feel like I just got you again. Okay. Do you think I'm fat? No, 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 no. I, I, I love a phone with curves. You know that. I see you, Juno. Always looking at those Nexus ones with your mouth open. No. I mean, it's a, it's a pretty phone, but you're, you're the original. My, my caliente. And don't think I don't know about your one night stand with that slut droid. Baby, no, don't say that. <laughs> that was my friend's phone. We, we've already been over this. I was just experimenting with it. She meant nothing to me. Okay.
because with no upgrade coming anytime soon, you're stuck with me, Trulo. Oh, Cristo, you're such a dirty one. Shh, no, 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 no. Shh. Shh. The boys in the hood are always hard. You come talking that trash, we'll pull your car. Knowing nothing in life but to be legit. Don't quote me, boy, cause I ain't said shit. Yeah. Yo, man.